so excited to talk with you guys. I said this before we started recording, but the office is freaking out that you guys are here. But first things first, you gotta tell us, how is it finally being out in the open? You can be free with your love. Do you wanna take I'll this go, one? I mean, yeah. sure. <laughs> I, for me, it's just a relief. This has been such a, a long time coming. I'm just happy that everyone knows about her now and where we're at. Um, she deserves all of the love, so I'm excited. Yeah, I'm I'm pumped. I'm so I'm excited to wear this. I'm excited to have him next to me and uh, not be in hiding. I was gonna say, how was hiding for you guys? Were there any wigs? Did you have any secret identities going on special dates or something? I was ready for it. I was ready to. I can do this thing with my hair where I put a baseball cap on. I put all my hair under it and I like. You know, look like Justin Bieber, I think. It's, but, it's, it's uh, scary. Like, it's scary. You know, early Justin Bieber phase. But no, uh, we just kind of hid away in a house. You know, wore baseball caps in the uh, airports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. tried our best to stay under wraps. So uh, yeah. it's it's a weird time in hiding, but we also don't want to, you know, keep away from the whole surprise and everything. Yeah. There was a couple of fans on TikTok that were like, "Hey." Yeah, there was a little slip up there. Uh, yeah. We we really. <laughs> definitely took for granted how much these people can figure out uh, yeah. certain backgrounds. So we were very careful. I, I took a video in front of a white background. She took a video outside and they did put two and two together. So yeah. kudos to them. I think that they should join the FBI. <laughs> truly, honestly, truly. But how was it watching everything back? I know you guys got to relive the proposal last night, the highs and the lows. Kelsey, how was that watching it? I get emotional every time I, I see the proposal. Um, it was it was just very heartwarming. You know, that whole day, I feel like I was, I don't know, it was such a blur because I was so excited and I was right. just like, oh my gosh. Um, so it's really nice to relive it, watching it back. Yeah, and it was so sweet seeing your dad watch it. They had the little shot of him, and I was like, oh my God. It, yeah. was, so it was so sweet to see him emotional because he's so happy for Joey and I. Did you see all the tweets of people calling him like the Travis Kelsey, but with gray hair? No, and I, I, never, I never saw that, and then I saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never, like, it's so apparent, like I can totally see it. Yeah, I can totally see I've it. I've also seen people comparing him to Thanos though, so that's also hilarious. <laughs> okay, I can also kind of see that. Yeah. Now, um, Jesse did kind of mention that maybe we will see your dad sometime soon, maybe on the Golden Bachelorette. Yes. Would you be okay with that? I support it 110%. Joey and I, you know, we're really lucky through this experience. And if anything, I think that it really teaches you a lot about yourself. But on the golden side, I think that it teaches you that, you know, to still live life and embrace everything. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for my dad. I hope that he can go on and embrace it all. Yeah. You know, last night, a lot of things went down, including you guys reuniting with Daisy. Mm -hmm. I just have to say that moment, of you and Daisy in that limo together holding hands was so special and so special as a woman to see mm -hmm. that. Walk me through deciding to do that. Yeah, well, I think that we were both emotional after our conversation. You know, Daisy was, it got the clarity that she needed and she gave me a lot of clarity as well. So we just kind of were like, let's, Let's just ride there together. So we just kind of supported each other on the ride there. You know, we did talk. It wasn't just, you know, looking at the it was just like, yeah. what's going to happen? Yeah, we were, I think, you know, just trying to support each other through that ride there. And we had a great conversation getting out of the limo as well. But Daisy's uh, an amazing person, and I wish her the best. You know, a lot of fans, though, are th like thought, oh, Kelsey must have then been spoiled. Yeah. Do you feel like your moment was spoiled because you had that moment then with Daisy? No, I think that, I mean, it was a spectacular day regardless. I don't think anything could have ruined that day. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I was just thankful that she got to, you know, end it the way that she wanted to. Yeah. yeah. Joey, when did you find out that they rode together? And what did you think about that? Yeah, I didn't find out till after. So uh, we, we obviously, after the engagement, spent the rest of the night together and were able to have a few days in Mexico. So we got to talk through everything and she mm -hmm. told me they rode together. So that was the first time I found out about that too. Um, I thought it was special for the two of them. I, I, I said it earlier, I mean, it's like, it's woman empowerment. I think it's beautiful. I think they did a really good job of explaining that it's not about the competition, it's about finding the person that's right for you and Daisy understood that and, and Kelsey did such a good job handling that moment too. So well said. Thanks. And this is why people love you. <laughs> and I do have to tell you, I've interviewed all the bachelors and for the first time I'm like, I have nothing I need to ask him that like, oh you did a problematic thing, let's yeah. talk about yeah. it. None of that. None of that. So kudos to you. I'll take it. Uh, Kelsey though, when did you know that okay, 
I'm the one. He's gonna pick me. I think after that conversation with Daisy, it gave me a lot of clarity, but at the same time, I was like, you never know. I was hoping for it, you know? And I was like, I'm gonna go up there and Everybody was like, Kelsey, are you crazy? Like, why are you, why are you giving yourself that? Like, well, may, you know, it, it could not be me at the same time. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was so spectacular. Once he got down on the knee, I knew. <laughs> that's when she knew. That's when she knew. Well, no, when yeah. told me. I was shocked too. She didn't believe what? it for when some reason. When he told reason. me he loved me, that's yeah. whenever I was like, yeah. okay, that would be weird if he was telling me that <laughs> and, oh. and wasn't, but yeah. Well, I loved also the moment that Daisy said to you, your mom is gonna watch this. She's gonna yeah. be there for you. What did that mean to hear that before going into one of the biggest moments of your life? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that it was just very reassuring. I think that that just shows that Daisy, you know, really knows me and knows what's important to me. And so it was really special to hear that from her. A lot of fans are shocked that she's not gonna be the next Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. Were you too surprised that it wasn't her? Yeah, I think that it was, uh, I think she did a really good job explaining it mm -hmm. last night. I think it's something that you have to be ready for. You wanna make sure that you're in the spot where it feels like something that you want to do. And she was honest that she's not at that point in her life right now. She's focusing on other things. So we support her 100% and we're definitely excited about Jen. I was gonna ask you, why is Jen the perfect fit for this Bachelorette role? I think, you know, she's goofy, she's yeah. fun. I think that she's gonna be able to carry a really great season and really open up to the men. Yeah. Okay, we love to see it. What is next for the two of you? What, I know you guys mentioned NOLA, you're gonna go back to New Orleans and New York. What does that look like? Yeah, we're still figuring all that out. You know, I put my life on pause for a year. She's still figuring out some stuff in New Orleans and we're gonna just kind of start figuring those things out together. But we're excited about the future. It's really, the, it really is open to whatever we want it to be and that's exciting. Yeah, and I'm excited for New York as well. Yeah, just to that's kind a big of part. build, you know, separate from you know new orleans is my place philly hawaii's joey's place and kind of being in a new spot and exploring it together is yeah. really exciting that's so yeah. exciting do you know if you guys are gonna live together in oh. new york okay yeah, yeah. We're gonna live. <laughs> he's, i'm, he's I'm moving to in new orleans. Like, i'm gonna have her and her two uh friends who are roommates <laughs> so I'm, I'm i'm jumping into a whole like new girl sketch coming up here so i'll, I'll be good <laughs> Yeah, that honestly, kind of sounds fun. Yeah, no, they're excited. I'm excited. He's gonna watch over our little dog Roman, like mm -hmm. my roommate's dog. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be exciting. And Joey, I'm sure your sister is excited to finally get, get me yeah. out. You know what? You're gonna have to talk to her about that one because she she kind of liked having me there too. Oh, yeah, I think they're did. a little sad. We talked about it last night, and I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, I should probably tell you like I'm leaving on Thursday. She's like, we're well, leaving already. So. Yeah. We had a great time. It was really special to be able to get that time with my family, too, through all this. And you were busy. You were running around everywhere at the I same was. time. So I was. it was nice. Kelsey, are you going to bring the voodoo doll to New York City? Well, Joey actually I has the it. voodoo doll. Yeah, so you she she gave doll. that to me on that night. If she kept it, I would have been <laughs> frightened the entire time. <laughs> then I would have actually believed that it worked. It, it, it did. So it, it, did, it, it, did, it did everything. It did yeah, I had that with me, actually, every single day from Spain on. I asked for it. So I kind of knew that that was something that was going to be smart to hold on to. So it's been with me the entire time. Little Joey. <laughs> that is so sweet. I was not expecting yeah. that. That is so sweet. Okay, so definitely you're going to bring it then to it's, New York. It's gone. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe and, we'll go in a little case and she's or something. Got, she's got a little bear that I bought her in Jasper, yeah. so we got our own little uh, keepsakes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know I have to ask this, but wedding planning, you are engaged. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think the timeline is for a wedding? Yeah, I think that we want a long engagement. I don't think that we're stressed, you know, trying yeah. to rush anything. You know, we just got through this. I think we want to embrace this time right now and then slowly start wedding planning so that we don't have to be stressed or I know that it can be a lot planning all of that so we got to figure out a lot. I am in, I'm engaged <laughs> yeah. and I'm currently planning a wedding and it's a lot. Congratulations. Thank yeah, you congrats. so much. But have fun being engaged. Yes, yes. Exactly. Enjoy it. We're in no We're, rush. Yeah. We said long engagement. Two to three years is the idea but we know that can change too. Mm -hmm. It could change at any moment so yeah. we're just going to take it in. Totally. I love it. You know, we have seen a lot of Bachelor Nation couples in the past go through some challenges. What are you guys doing to make sure you know how to communicate with each other and you know that you will be in it for the long haul? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of work um, and it's been great. We're in the best spot that we've ever been. Uh, the show has been awesome about setting us up with some uh, group therapy. So we've been able to do couples counseling, talking through it all, learning communication styles. Uh, you're set up in a really tough spot through this, but we've learned more about how we communicate. We've, mm -hmm. we've really built a strong base and it's now we get to go in the real world and actually test it. Yeah.